Welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Welcome back, Fight Fans. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. The winner of the Fury Wilder fight is still fighting for second place. That's right, second place. The winner of this fight is not going to be better than Anthony Joshua. They're not going to overtake Anthony Joshua, and they're not going to be number one in the heavyweight division. You have to understand that Anthony Joshua has every belt but one, and that's the WBC title. The same title that Deontay Wilder has been hiding and protecting since he got it. You have to understand that when Deontay Wilder was 33-0 and and won the belt, you still had his manager, Shelly Finkel, come out and say that he's still a prospect. He's still learning, and he's not ready for the big fight such as a Klitschko. So you have to understand that Deontay Wilder, he never pursued unification fights. If he has, why did he make them? You know, they said, oh, he offered $50 million to Anthony Joshua, and he turned it down. And, you know, so if you offered $50 million, you got bank like that? You got money like that? Then why didn't you offer Joseph Parker five and get that fight made and unify? You didn't because you don't make that kind of money. You have to understand that Deontay Wilder is basically a paper champion who fought a bunch of taxi drivers. And this is no slight at Wilder. I like him. I think he's very enjoyable. I think he's a talented fighter and he's in every fight and he could potentially win any fight against any fighter because of his big right hand. So that's no slight to Wilder, but you have to understand that this is boxing. This is not wild punching, brawling. This is boxing, the sport of boxing. And in the end, the boxer always wins. And so why would someone not understand that we would have to pick the boxer by being unbiased, being honest, and being real? Um, you look at Tyson Fury, he's a good fighter, very talented, highly skilled, a great boxer. But the thing about Tyson Fury is his layoff has been too long. He basically has not fought any ranked opposition since he's been back. And at the end of the day, Anthony Joshua has a better resume than both of these guys. And he's still very young and early in his career. He's fought a ranked Alexander Povetkin. A ranked Alexander. And to me, in my opinion, based on what Alexander Povetkin has done and who he's fought and what he's proved, he's better than Luis Ortiz on your resume. Luis Ortiz has never been a world champion, never fought another top-level world champion. He fought a Deontay Wilder, almost beat him, but didn't. He ultimately got knocked out. So at the same time, Alexander Provetkin has proved a lot more. You know, Anthony Joshua has made fights against undefeated world champions such as a Joseph Parker. Uh, he's fought a Dillian White when he was undefeated. He fought a Dominic Brazil when he was undefeated. Anthony Joshua has proved so much that he would still be number one regardless of the Wilder Fury fight. You know, this fake biased new media bullshit is getting out of control where these guys are actually calling out and confusing people saying, oh, the winner is better than Anthony Joshua. They're number one in the heavyweight division. That's bullshit. And only an idiot will believe that. You know, you got a lot of fanboys out there and I, and speaking as fanboys, I just want to address this quick point. You know, I have a lot of people come on my videos and say, you know, you don't like black fighters. You know, you, you dislike them. You don't think they're good. You know, you hate on them. And they're primarily talking about the Charlo brothers and Errol Spence. And so I decided that I'm just going to take a second to address these haters. Now, honestly, this is how you can tell you're a fanboy is because number one I have ranked in my pound for pound ranking is Terrence Bud Crawford, who is a black fighter. In my pound for pound rankings, I also have Anthony Joshua ranked, who's a pound for pound fighter. They're both black. So how in the hell can this about be about anything racial when the two when two of the top fighters I have in my pound for pound rankings are both black? And if if I'm such a hater, if I hate on black fighters, if all that's true, then expose me. Expose me. Show me in what video that I came out and said I'm picking this fighter to win because they're a different race. Show me. You can't because you're a fanboy. And that's how you can tell a fanboy from a true objective boxing viewer. Because if you're truly objective, you'll notice that I've never said race in any of these videos. And on top of that, I've always complimented Deontay Wilder, Errol Spence, the Charlo brothers. I think they're all entertaining fighters and they could all win those fights that they fight in all these potential bouts. But you have to understand 
is that I'm not going to fanboy for these guys. If you haven't proven it, the IBFP will expose it. If you haven't fought the top level competition, the IBFP will expose it. You know, if, if this is if you're nothing but hype, the IBFP will expose it. And so at the end of the day, it's our job to be unbiased, unfiltered, truthful and raw. And if you don't like it, you need to go find one of them fake fanboy new media pages to follow because at the end of the day, we're going to keep it unbiased. We don't integrate race in anything we talk about. That's not what we do. We call it down the middle and down the line. And if you can't accept it, then that just means you can't handle the truth. Anyway, back to Fury Wilder and Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua will still be king of the heavyweight division regardless of what happens in this Fury Wilder fight. Although I would like to see the winner of uh, Fury Wilder fight Anthony Joshua, I have to be honest and unbiased is that Anthony Joshua is still going to reign supreme regardless. And it's not up to Anthony Joshua to make the Deontay Wilder fight. It's up to Deontay Wilder to make that fight. He needs that fight for his legacy. Anthony Joshua is still young in his career. Deontay Wilder has not proven anything. He's not fought anybody. He has to prove this. Deontay Wilder needs him. And so this fake, biased, new media bullshit narrative that they keep spewing and spitting out is inaccurate and false. Don't believe the hype. I-B-F-P.